<laughs> you can be oh no, there goes our katana! <laughs> no! Yeah, what's up dudes? I am here with Andrew, aka the Guitar Geek. I like to call him the Guitar God, but uh, you know, he's... Steve. <laughs> So kind. But, uh, you know, we were here because we uh, we were talking about Fender and Mac Mall, and we have these, you know, custom shop and sort of a custom shop. And, uh, you know, we were just saying, hey, let's just go strat it out for a little bit and just check out, you know, Fender custom shop versus Mac Mall custom shop. And, uh, you know, both takes on an S style guitar, though one might be a touch more official than the other. What do you think about the headstock? It's such a point of contrast. I'm glad you asked me because I saw them first at the music mess in Frankfurt. Okay. Uh, and I was not aware of them before this. Okay. Walked in and I didn't even see the headstock because uh, Sharon Levi, their, their demo guy, yeah, yeah. was playing it and the music was so good and so chilled and just so perfect for what you expect from a Strat that I just said, I don't care what, I didn't even look at the guitar, I used my ears, you know, right. unbelievably as a guitar player, I, I thought it was my ears. Right. And it wasn't until later where I saw the headstock and I thought, hmm. And then, right. it sort of, because I was busy at the music master, filtered, and I, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect, I don't, I don't Oh, it's a, purely cosmetic. I don't have a, an opinion. It, right. I mean, it's... It's I'm the a, space to hold the tuners. Yeah. Right. I see why people have a problem, because they are programmed to expect this. Right. If right. that came out first, they'd be saying, what's this thing with that big thing that's added? Right. And you know, anytime you change anything, people are like, I, that, it's foreign to me. I don't understand. Yeah. Um, I think my take on it was that at first I was a little, I think, um, put off by it. I, it was mm -hmm. almost like too simple. I wanted yeah. something a little bit more yeah. ornate, yeah. right? But the more yeah. I talked with people um, about it, uh, and I've talked to several people about it, I would say that the camp is pretty much, I want to say 60, 40 in favor of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people really like the Spartan look of it. Yeah. They like the very straight lines of it. They thought the curve of the body with the straightness of the top was sort of a sweet and sour, yin and yang, yeah. salt and sweet, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Um, and it was, a, a, it, it, they, they were convincing me to give it, I think, a little bit better look and not so you're, you're in the 40 percent i was in the 40 percent jumped over to the i kind of have so let's call it 39 40 uh, 60, 30 67. 62 listen maths. okay we're guitar maths. players all right if we were good at math we wouldn't be i can count to six <laughs> yeah yeah same here when you get when i get to seven i just implode <laughs> so uh your thoughts on the guitar in your hands right now um, I've had this, that I've been here a little bit longer than yourself, and this was kind of the first one I went for because I love the Fiesta Red. I right. thought that the neck was really thick and thicker than mine at home, not the custom I shop. I felt the same way about Mac Ball when I first played it. I thought it. the action was too high for, for what I prefer. This action is actually perfect for me. It might uh -huh. be slightly too high for other people, but I like my action a little bit higher than uh, what most manufacturers will put out. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm quite a low action. A, but this is fine. I've grown into it. Okay. Um, but ultimately, it. I'm less impressed because it's made by Fender. It's like, well, yeah, you're Fender. Of course, you make a good Strat. Right. Right. You know, well, that's that's your bottom. That's your baseline. Right. 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 Uh, but I'm not saying it's a bad guitar. It's really not. Um, right. I love this guitar. I've played it probably equally as much as the other ones. Right. Also throwing in the new Ibanez AZ series. Right. That is a Strat. Yes. Um, no, I agree. And and it's no no lie that I am pretty much in love with the Macmill stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because it is I'll different. come around to it, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I first played it, I thought the neck was a little too thick for my likings, but I've actually been playing, I was playing a lot of very thin neck Ibanezes, mm -hmm. and it's like any time you, you know, you play an acoustic for three months and then you switch to an electric, it feels very different. And you play an electric for a while and you switch to an acoustic and it feels very different. And it takes a while to get used to it. So just recently, I've been playing slightly thicker necks, like in my mm -hmm. old Ibanez Artist, which has a very chunky neck. Uh, and I have a couple of good to my Gibson Les Paul has a bit of a chunky neck. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's all relative yeah. because you start to play those necks and you play this, you're like, yeah, this feels a lot more comfortable than the last time I picked it up. This yeah. is a much more comfortable neck. And I think it's it's really all relative. Yeah. Um, and when I first tried this, I had just played like uh, the Ibanez, like Joe Satriani model, which okay. is a far thinner neck. Right, right, exactly. Be careful. You might cut yourself on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's how thin that neck is. Uh, 
the, this is actually what I would call a straight up strat neck yep. and, and not a chunky strat. This isn't like the, you know, what I would call like the 65 neck, which is a little bit more of a beefy style. This is feeling more like a 62. How do you think about that one? All right, let me try. Okay, this is actually a touch bigger than that. Yeah. This is actually a touch bigger than that. I but, this is this is a oh, strat neck. But here's the thing. This is so silky smooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where that one has the gloss. Not yeah. that I like gloss. Don't some people are so adamant in either camp. I'm back and forth. I don't really I'm I, I'm a sweaty guy, as you can see right now. And you, uh, we both have that problem. <laughs> I I'm I'm I, I oil my necks. I strip them and I oil them. Okay. Um, I just done it to my Telecaster, and it's totally changed the way I play. Right. I'm not a fast player. Right. But it I tend to drag a little bit, you know. Right. So neckwise, I prefer that. Right. But I, to defend the Mac Will, because I, I have, I'm, I'm afraid I am biased because it's just in my head. Right. Um, this will wear down a little bit. Right, because it's a lacquer. It's a proper lacquer neck. But if I had to go out to a show, currently I would take that. Yeah, I. Um and it's funny because as soon as you get to the right, the brakes, you hit a skid the second you hit the lacquer. Right. It's like skating down. Oh, we hit cement. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> right. So like, when you, like when you're skating off the rink and you hit that rubber mat at the end, it's like, and we're out. Um, I really love the, the feel of this, but I'm not in the camp. And I used to be. I used to be like, I really need a sanded neck and I mm -hmm. would sand all my necks. But. Um, I had a guitar that I just couldn't bring myself to sand because I just liked the feel of the neck too much and I felt if I sanded it, it would permanently change the feel of it. Mm -hmm. And I've come around to it. I have maybe, you know, I probably have 40 guitars total and like half are glossy and half are matte and I go back between, you know, the two. And yeah. it's just a matter of how you feel that day. You know, some days you, the for whatever reason, probably in the drier weather, the gloss necks are easier to play yeah. and when it gets a little more sticky out and I'm a little bit more sticky then I like the the dry back and sometimes it's almost a little too dry in the winter mm -hmm. if that makes sense um uh, it's a feel thing it's a I think, feel thing I mean it, I, I very much see the guitar as a tool I and mean, it is a, yeah, yeah. a piece of art as well and I enjoy playing it but from a studio point of view I think what is the best tool for this job right and if I'm playing some sort of rhythm some sort of uh, and I'm staying around that area. Right. I will gen generally pick something that's a bit stickier. So right. It'll, okay. It'll that makes a lot of sense because it'll anchor you. Yeah. Right. And, and I work to a really tight schedule. Right. And that's something that improves my workflow. Sure. And it's a tool for that job. Then, if I'm putting in a lead line. Right. I might stay with the same guitar if I'm feeling particularly lazy. Right. Right. And if I get that tone on that, okay, I'll go with that. Right. But I might think, hmm, got to switch to that slightly slipperier, slippery. Uh, more slippery. More slippery <laughs> Maximum slippery. And you know, you'd think we speak English as our native language too. We would have that down, but yeah. you know, it's a struggle. <laughs> yeah, I you see uh, what I mean. It's, it's I, I do. I see exactly what you mean. And and I think for me, I, I you know, I think Phil X said it great one time. Do you eat pizza every day? Right. So yeah, some days I like the gloss. Some days I like the satin. Yeah. See, this is really turned into a really, neck feel. Really video. geeky, isn't it? Let's talk about <laughs> neck. Well, it's one of the distinguishing features between these two guitars. Absolutely. You know, one is a satin neck and one is a gloss neck. What's the and weight? It's a major change, as we were both finding out. I think that's heavier. It is. I think this is slightly heavier. I'm going to call it maybe a half a pound heavier. Yeah. Quarter of a pound heavier. You. Um, again, slightly unfair, I know more about the Macmull than I do about this Fender Custom Shop because the Macmull guys have been chatting with me. Okay. And um, So, uh, Alder body? Will the maple now? I, I don't know that much. It, it looks like Alder to me. Um, what I, do, I just mean, I mean, I mean about the, the history behind the company. And then, oh, okay. Because I find myself not really researching Fender because they're Fender. Right. It's like researching air, you know, right. just breathe it every day. I don't know what's in it. It just goes yeah. in and comes out. Um, oh, that's too funny. <laughs> but it's, I mean, we're looking at two excellent guitars here. Right, right. It, again, I mean, it's, it's perfect that we've just gone about the next because horses for courses, you know? Right, right, right. Um, we're starting to split hairs because you get to, to a certain level, the quality is just going to be there. Yeah. 
And then it's just a matter of preference. Yeah. And sometimes the preference is both. <laughs> That's exactly where I was going to go. So I'm talking a little bit of uh, lead on this and then switch over to the old Mac Mool for some rhythm. Right, right. And everybody's happy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but sound wise, I mean, do you want to just, yeah, just yeah. play them and. sound I've ever heard. <laughs> Got the twang going. Mm. You know? I hope this picks it up the way we're, we're hearing it. That's, because that sounded wonderful. It, it's just strat. Yeah, yeah. Right? And again, to, to sort of go back to what I said earlier, it's, it's really not... It's a taste thing, isn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, it's, it's not good and that's great. But what I will say is this is more expensive. Okay. Right. So, so it is custom shop and it is, uh, yeah. you know, you're getting the F name. So allegedly you get more from a Mac Mall for your money. Okay. Even though they're not cheap. Right, right. No, neither of these guitars would fall in the inexpensive or even moderate category. We're going to say they're both, in a, you know, a fairly yeah. expensive guitar. It's a chunk of change. But this one's just a little bit more expensive. Yeah, <laughs> I think. I'm, I, you yeah. know, we'll, we'll check that. No, I think you're right. I um, think you're right. I've been told. Yeah. But... But now, man, I'm like, yeah. it's a case of both, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a terrible story for this video. Yeah. <laughs> Which one, Fender or Custom uh, or yeah, Mac yeah. Mall? Yeah, yeah. Both. Both. Well, start saving. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if we manage to stick all of this camera gear in our suitcases. Yeah, right. Get right. that on e eBay or whatever it is <laughs> these days. Simpler, we just take the guitars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Complicating things where it doesn't need to be complicated. Right. All right, dudes. Well, you decide which one did you think you, you, you thought sounded better or looked better. Uh, and we'll, I'd love to see the comments down in yeah. the comments. <laughs> that but from the redundancy department of redundancy. So, where else are you going to see them? <laughs> yeah. In my mind. All right. Anyway, there you go. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. And rock on. See ya. <laughs>